Hi guys, and welcome back to another portrait retouching tutorial. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how you can correct the skin tones simply by using just adjustment layers in Photoshop. And I'm gonna start right now. What's up guys, Photo Fever here, and welcome back to the channel. So today, we're talking about correcting the white balance, but more specifically, correcting the skin tones, especially when you're shooting in different types of lighting conditions. Because when you go ahead and shoot outdoors, indoors, or even under certain lighting conditions, you might find that the white balance drastically changes. So today, I'm gonna to show you just using simple adjustment layers of correcting the white balance, specifically when it comes to correcting skin tones. So with that out of the way, guys, let's get started. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first open up a raw photo. So this photo has not been color corrected in any way. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the sample photo for this. And as you can see, this was shot under quite a heavy tungsten light, which causes, uh, if you haven't set your color balance correctly in your camera, comes out quite a green tinge. Uh, and overall, this photo is quite dark. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go from this and then we're gonna finish off with a finished result. So this is a color corrected photo. And we're gonna probably work with the skin tones. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go ahead and create a curves adjustment layer. So we're gonna go down to the bottom right hand corner guys, click, and then we're gonna go up to the curves adjustment layer. Lovely. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna first thing we're going to ignore the actual curves adjustment. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the three eyedropper tools found on the left hand side. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna select the one in the middle, which is called sample and image to set gray point. And this will get us about 90% of the way there. So what we're gonna do is click on that. And as you can see, what we need to do is sample something that is gray or neutral in the image. Now at the moment, we don't have a gray card. So I often have a gray card on my desk, something like this. And this helps you kind of get to this stage, but we don't have one in this photo. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the eyes of this girl. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna zoom in and we're going to go ahead and select the white part of the eye next to the iris. And we're gonna go ahead and just sample an area. And we're going to go ahead and zoom out. And as you can see, that has fairly fixed the photo. So if we do the before and then we do the after, you can see that that's got us about 90% of the way there, but there's still quite a lot of green in the background. And overall, the skin tones aren't looking about 100%. So I'm gonna show you how you can get from this point and we'll go on further. So what I'm going to do next is to create a luminosity mask. And this will fix the bright part and it'll create a little bit more of a shimmer in the skin tones, wouldn't necessarily be there unless you just added in a global filter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a luminosity mask to actually add into the highlight areas. So what I'm gonna do is how to create that. I'm going to go to my channels icon. So that is right next to your layers. Let's go to your channels hold down command or option on your keyboard, and then go ahead and click the RGB one. And this will select all of the bright and highlight parts of your photo. Then what we're gonna do is go back to our levels panel, again, with this selected. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and create a levels adjustment layer. So we're gonna go down to our bottom right-hand corner, guys, in the adjustment layers icon, and then we're gonna go up to levels, which is just above curves. And what I recommend doing with this is taking the highlight in our curves and drag that over to the left until you are happy with the brightness of the photo. And then you can go ahead and move that around until you, how you like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and move it around like so. So as you can see, if we do the before and after, we've brightened the kind of skin tones without affecting the rest of the photo. And that is really, really important. So after we've done that, we're actually going to try and fix the background here. And we're gonna actually try and get a little bit more kind of um, yellow and oranges that are found in the skin tones and make them a little bit more vibrant. And we're gonna use the color balance adjustment layer for this. So what we're gonna do, go down to our adjustment layers again, guys. And this time we're gonna go ahead and choose color balance, which is just below hue and saturation. Now what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to target all of the shadow areas first. So I'm gonna to go to our tone, I'm gonna to select from midtones, and I'm gonna to go to shadows. And I'm, there's quite a lot of green. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add in magenta. So I'm gonna to go to our magenta slider here, and I'm gonna go ahead and add in a little bit more magenta. 
and hopefully that will cut down just that little bit that you can see of green in the shadow areas. And then I'm going to go to my midtones and I'm going to add in a little bit more yellow to the midtones. And once I've done that, I'm going to add in a little bit of red as well. And that will make the skin tones a little bit more punchy because the two colors that are predominantly found in the skin tones are either red and or yellow. So that's really, really important that we get those two colors a little bit more boosted, especially in the mid-tones and then also in the highlights as well. So I'm going to boost that by five in the highlights. So that's bringing more yellow by minus five. And with the red, I'm going to increase that by five as well. So as you can see, if we do the before and after, we've cut down all of that green that you could see in the background, and we've added in a little bit more vibrancy, especially in the kind of skin tones and in the highlight areas. But it's still looking a little bit flat and the colors aren't as vibrant as I want to. So what I'm gonna do is I'm simply just going to add a vibrant and saturation adjustment layer. So I'm gonna go down to our adjustment layers again, guys, and this time we're gonna go ahead and select Vibrant, which is just above Hue and Saturation. Now I'm gonna leave the saturation alone uh, because that's the kind of intensity of the color. I just wanna increase the vibrance. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that Vibrant slider and I'm gonna take that over to the right, but not by too much. I'm gonna make a very subtle change. So I'm gonna go and add in around 15% for that. Okay. And all I need to do now is to create an overall brightness layer because it's still looking a little bit too dark. I would say we've fixed overall, fixed the skin tones. We just need to fix the brightness for this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down to our adjustment layers again, guys. And this time I'm lastly going to select curves. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a S style curve by increasing all of the actual brightness of the photo. So I'm gonna increase the highlights and I'm going to slightly increase the shadows, but, but not by too much. And what I might do is I might brighten the highlights, sorry, brighten the shadows as well, ever so slightly. So I'm gonna go for something that looks similar to this. So I'm gonna go for that. So you can see I've got this very slight S curve by decreasing the whites, increasing the highlights, slightly increasing the shadows, and ever so slightly increasing the blacks. It's very subtle, but ever so subtle changes throughout the entire photo will overall create a great photo. And what we can do now is if we group the uh, group layer at the top, so select that curves adjustment layer, go all the way to the bottom and select that bottom curves adjustment layer. And then we're gonna do is press Command G on the keyboard. What that'll do is it'll group all of that together. We're gonna double click on that group and I'm going to rename it edits. And then what we can do now is do the before, which you can see it was very green, especially in the shadows and mid-tones. And we do the after, you can see we've really brought that up. And now what I would do is I would add in a little bit of dodging and burning. I'll also add a little bit of skin smoothing and possibly adding in or removing a few freckles. But overall, that is how I color correct a photo when it's specifically surrounding the skin tones because usually I would color correct a photo just using the white balance tool, or uh, like in for instance this, the color mixer tool, but I wanted to add a particular tutorial just to show you how you can specifically do it to the skin tones, because skin tones, again, are very, very subtle, and it's not something that you would drastically change like you would do a, a landscape photo, because skin tones are very difficult to get right. So I thought I'd make a tutorial just like this one to show you guys how I go from start to finish of correcting the skin tones from a raw photo. And there we go, guys. So that is how you can correct the skin tones from a raw file in Photoshop.